Oh gosh, I dropped something. I'm trying to look cool guys give me some credit hello guys um ooh. hello guys my name is angelica this channel's name is aya um i'll tell you later why <laughs> i am queer i'm a lesbian and i am married i have a wife even though i'm only 20 classic sapphic strategy to marry your first love I am her, she's me. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I wanna tell you a quick little story that made me extremely fucking mad. Me and my wife were on a trip, and if you wanna see how the trip went, go to my vlog. <laughs> so I had food poisoning. We were supposed to be on this four hour long road trip to the city where we were supposed to stay at for a while. Anyway, I had food poisoning and I felt extremely fucking bad. I threw up and it was bad. <laughs> um, but then a Georgian man noticed that I was feeling bad and then he offered me his seat. And because of that, I was not able to sit next to my wife. My wife was back there, I was up here. Anyway, I don't know, for some reason I felt this immense amount of love for my wife. You know, I mean, it's it's normal to love your wife, but I don't know, for some reason, that exact moment, I had this, like, burst of... Ah, I love my wife! I literally wanted to cry about it, like, I'm so lucky, I'm... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love her so much, I'm looking back at her... <laughs> I, I felt this Im Im immense amount of love, and, like, I didn't know what to do with that necessarily and the best thing for whatsoever fucking reason was to text my uncle. <laughs> you might ask me why didn't I text my wife to tell her how much I love her. I, I couldn't because she didn't have Wi-Fi and I did on my phone. If you've been following my channel, you know that I am slowly but surely coming out to every fucking person in my life. And it comes with its own trials and tribulations, of course. Like people, for some reason, think that like your entire personality has changed and that this is a choice. It's really interesting how you get to kind of categorize people into the people who actually care and love you and the people who were there just because you were comfortable to be loved it's actually really sad i've been losing a lot of people i've been facing a lot of internalized homophobia and my uncle also has contributed to my internalized homophobia let me just expose my uncle okay let's say that his name is you know, i don't know jack jack let's say jack okay I'm, I'm gonna be translating this as i go so don't judge me jack do you accept me are you homophobic or are you neutral i just want to have a bro in this sense i just can't and i thought that my mom didn't accept me because she doesn't fully know what it is like to love a woman. May I text you or will you tell our conversation to our entire family and put me in a bad place in front of all of them? But be honest, please, because I am willing not to write to you. So he replied, I know what it is like to love according to my experience. I have no responsibility on whatsoever is going on in other people's heads. Fair enough. Actually, in nature, there are only two genders. You can say whatever you want, but each gender has its own role. And each role is energetically different. The man gives and the woman receives. A woman cannot fulfill another woman with her energy or with the happiness. This is just a dead end. You need to be able to interact with those who are stronger than you and not who are weaker than you. Don't tolerate having weak people around you. Actually, I don't care what you're thinking right now. Well, not really. I just think that this is an obsession. You're living with some kind of creatures. I have no idea what that means. These creatures are destroying your default settings in your mind. You weren't born with a dick. 
So don't try to glue a dick to yourself. What the fuck? This just looks unnatural, but that's my point of view. You need to use your beauty wisely and don't become a pervert. Just because you're an artistic soul, that doesn't mean that you have to change your orientation. Love that, love that. You can experience emotional pain even in ordinary love. He means traditional love, hetero. Why are you making all of this up? Why are you seeking emotional pain? You had everything from the start. You had the brains and the looks, but no, you had to make something up and make life seem harder than it actually is. Just look at other people. They are ugly as fuck. I am, I am quoting this. Look at other people. They are ugly as fuck, but even they can find themselves a significant other. Even they are able to have children. It is so weird how my entire family, except for my dad, would agree with this statement and would totally justify my uncle's position. Like, this is insane. And this is my response. A woman can only be fully understood by another woman. And I completely understand that there are beautiful, happy, healthy, hetero relationships. But I do have this opinion that women just get each other. They are the same, anatomy-wise, emotionally, logically, and with life experience. We face the same life experience, and I understand women. It's almost as if I can imagine myself in her shoes and I can experience every single thing that she's experiencing, whether it's physical or emotional, because I just understand her and vice versa. And again, I clarified, I understand that there are wonderful hetero relationships. Okay, let me clarify because I feel like just my translation is not enough because I truly feel like that I understand my wife. It's literally as if my soul could be magically transported into her body and I will be able to read her mind, read her body language, what she's experiencing, the texture of her clothes that are touching her skin. Literally, I can imagine myself in her shoes while she was like five. I fully encapsulate her little being and I love her. And our life experiences are very alike because we both are girls in today's day and age. Like, even if we weren't so similar with my wife, I would still have this connection because both of us are women. Like, this is just not possible. Like, physically, this is not possible to be able to understand a person so much if you are a different gender from them. Uh, honestly, because, like, this might be controversial, but I truly think that I am able to understand her um, because of all these things, because we have our deep conversations and everything, but also because we share a similar life experience. This is literally not possible if one of us were male, right? And if uh, our orientation was hetero. That's just what I was trying to say. And of course, I'm not trying to devalidate any kind of traditional relationships. I'm just stating like what I feel because I was extremely happy about myself and I just wanted to express my feelings. But this is what I got. Moving on. Uh, and then I referred to some of the things that my uncle has said previously about, uh, you know, tolerating someone weaker than you are. Which basically implies that I'm being intimidated by men, by people who are quote unquote stronger than I am. And like, like what, what, do, what does he think I experience? Like, oh, men are so strong and oh, I just can't bear being a little weak lady next to them. I'm gonna become what the fuck? 
What the fuck? What, what did I say in response? Women are far from being the weaker portion of the population. Are you kidding me? My wife is in a lot of ways stronger than I am. In some ways, I am stronger than she is. But to be honest, never have I ever met anyone as brave and as smart as her. She is a real role model for me. And I'm trying to be as strong as her. And I'm trying to follow my heart the way she does and to not look at other people's expectations. I'm trying to stand up for myself and for her if it is needed. And then in parentheses, I added, I hit a man with my elbow, not once, not twice, but many times uh, when the men were harassing her. And the way I felt after that is inexplicable. I am defending my person. And she does the same exact thing. Being strong and being true to yourself in this very heteronormative world, this is the strongest thing that you can ever imagine, in my opinion. And then I also added that I have been a lesbian ever since kindergarten. And I thought that everyone was experiencing the same thoughts that I was at the time. So I had no intention of vocalizing those thoughts. It's like, what? Girls, 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 yeah. Everyone likes looking at women's tits and... <laughs> yeah, I said that I have been a lesbian ever since then. And it's like, I, I was not even brainwashed. I just, I was born this way, girl. And then my uncle said, What's the point in being able to read your partner's mind? It's like playing Uno, but your opponent's cards are fully visible. This is not interesting. It's like literally, what are you trying to say at this point? Because for me, I'm, I might be wrong, but the way I view relationships is when both of the parties are honest with each other. This is what I have. This is what I need. This is what I bring to the table. Look at each of my cards. Can I please take a look at your cards? And the other person is like, sure, I have this and that trauma. I have this and that emotional baggage. And I have this and that life goal. And um, this is what triggers me. This is what uh, PTSD I have. Uh, this is a silly quirk that I have. This is a weird dream that I had uh, this morning. And like, I don't know, maybe you should know this. I think that it's being transparent with the other person and this is exactly what me and my wife have been doing we literally talk about everything under the sun i know the most random things about her she she knows the most random things about me she has seen me over the last two years we're almost two years in together um in the wildest positions i don't want to make it sound weird but uh like in in the weirdest most random events and situations and uh emotional states literally from being fucking suicidal to being uh extremely fucking extroverted being depressed and crying in the shower and then my wife tearing her hair out of her head i i want to know everything if you are my person i want to know everything i want to <laughs> or else like what's the point i fully don't understand my uncle like what's the point in the relationship when there is some kind of mystery going on like does the other person just want to be like <sighs> like is she, is she gonna cheat on me is oh okay is he is he gonna cheat on me maybe my uncle is 40 something like that he's not that old he's really not that old and i i just i just for some reason i had this delusion in my head that he would be uh, accepting or at least neutral at least neutral but no he, he literally has the mindset of people way back in the ages um and 
yeah, it's just very stagnant, very close-minded. Anyway, let's get back to the exposing. I want to get my juice. My chair is also really squeaky. I hope it doesn't sound like I'm farting each and every time I squeak. No, it doesn't sound like that. I think I should get my pride flag out again. I've bought so many pride flags. <laughs> Like all of a sudden we just have pride flags now. It's so weird because like in Russia where I used to live, like it's literally banned and you'll get arrested and sent to jail. But here we're like, oh, we're fucking gay. We're gay. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the exposing. Um, oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna read anything else. Like you know, next I was talking about how there are multiple genders and not only just fucking two and you need to know the difference between sexes biological sexes indeed there are two but of course you know you know there are intersexes so i'm not i'm not really educated on that but i do know that there are a, a lot of genders genders um and so yeah, I explained that to him and that he has literally no right to devalidate anyone who has had this experience. My uncle happens to be a white hetero cis man and he is so fucking privileged to live in today's world. This world is literally manufactured for such people as him. But that doesn't mean that he should take advantage of it. Like, like literally don't devalidate any person who is experiencing gender dysphoria or any kind of other dysphoria. Uh, he's literally devalidating anything that is not within his box. If you're not white, cis, hetero, you don't exist. You just, you just made this up to be special and to have emotional pain and to consider yourself artistic. What the fuck? Uh-huh. So next is just bullshit. I'm not gonna read it. It's just full on stupidity. Yeah, I'm just telling him to be open minded or to educate himself. And here comes the creepy part. So we were talking about gender expression and whatever the fuck. And all of a sudden he texts me this. Imagine hearing this from your family member. I love women's tits or women's asses. They turn me on. I have this instinct inside of me, it's just nature. And then everything starts to happen. My male nature takes over. What the fuck? And, and I texted him, that's great, Jack. And then I started like saying, well, thank you for this conversation. Cause you know, I started getting weirded out. Like I don't want to talk about his attraction towards women. Cause I literally feel that we view attraction in very different ways. Like just according to what he has texted me previously, I can already tell what, what he's like. Okay. So I'm editing right now and I want to elaborate on the thing that I had just said. So what I've gotten from my uncle, the way he is attracted towards women is he sees a beautiful woman, he acknowledges the ass, the tits, and whatever the fuck, and then his dick goes up. I'm sorry this is explicit, but this is an explicit video overall. And yeah. <laughs> the way I view attraction is... Okay, it's gonna be really personal, but whatever. Um, so I see my wife, my wife is naked and like what attracts me the most is not that she's beautiful here and she has this and that shape. That is all so beautiful. This is so ethereal. But the thing that really, the thing that really... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so uncomfortable saying this, but the thing that really touches me in a sense where I feel attracted towards her is the thought that she lets herself be perceived by me. She lets herself be seen and be acknowledged and she isn't experiencing any kind of pressure to do it is just her will to every day lie in my bed to every day show up to every day show herself and 
I just think that this is, this is the point. Well, at least in my situation. And maybe that's because I'm demisexual, where I need to have this strong emotional connection to someone in order to feel sexual attraction. My wife has such a beautiful body and I'm attracted to that. But what gets me even more attracted is the inner monologue going on in her head. She lets herself be perceived by me. Those little stretch marks here and there, those little, I don't know, like flaws, but they're not flaws. She's a literal work of art and she she has faced body dysmorphia and eating disorders, not to out my wife, but you know, we've all been there, we've all struggled, but overall she is here and she is, she is here and she is today with me and she is naked and she has a wonderful ass, but, <laughs> but she is my person and I understand her and I feel her and I have the right to look at her any way that I want because she gives me that consent. I don't know if I have made any fucking sense, but it just goes beyond just, oh, you have a nice ass. I don't know, is it the thing with all men? Like, do all men truly think that way? I think a decent part of them do. And I don't know, the things that I have said, they might not relate to. And I think that is so bad. Yeah, and... Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, my wife. And then he goes on to tell me, Why do I need a second dick if I have a dick of my own? I need women's energy. I need women's asses, and etc. I value that which I don't have. Which means pussy. And then he asked me, what are you able to offer that I am not able to offer? And I'm like, bitch, love? Like, I literally don't understand why white cis hetero men feel like the entire world should worship them. Let's say that the woman is a lesbian. Why does she need someone like my uncle to be able to provide her dick? When in reality, she needs a woman and she needs a woman's heart. <laughs> a lesbian! Not necessarily me, because <laughs> I'm taken. I'm not a single lady. Literally, any lesbian with, with feelings, she can offer love and I can offer love for my wife because my wife is a lesbian and I am a fucking lesbian. I just don't understand why my uncle and any man who has a similar mindset to this dude over here feels entitled. Like the whole world should be able to adore him. And lesbians, bisexuals, pansexuals, transgenders, they should all be worshipping men. Because only a man is able to offer something. Something valuable and not imaginary. Girl, get a hobby. And then he goes on to say that the man is a resource and the woman is a piece of meat. Good to know. The last text messages that he sent me are so fucking controversial. Oh my gosh. Again, I'm farting. Girl, I promise I'm not farting. I promise I'm not farting. He said, I view your lesbianism as an experience. This experience may not be the ideal one for a woman, but it is okay. Now, if you were a man, this would be absolutely different. And then he quoted this uh, this proverb, if I can call it like that. If you tie up a lesbian very, very tightly, she easily becomes a bisexual. 
But if you're a man, then no jack screw would be able to lift your dick up. And then at the end of the dialogue, he said, that's it for today. End of lecture. Okay, let's dissect. If you tie up a lesbian, she easily turns into a bisexual. Let's say that there is a lesbian, and obviously she is not giving her consent for this fucking man. And basically, what my uncle suggests is that it is okay to rape someone, right? Basically, if the person is not giving consent, then <laughs> bitch, that is rape. And if you ask me what is sinful, being of the wrong orientation, quote unquote, or raping someone, bitch, I would say raping. But for some fucking reason, that is normalized for him. And like, I understand that this is such a widespread problem. Like, this mindset is not only my uncle's mindset. Literally, it's... It's just so awful how how fucked up the world is and literally how close-minded people are. Me, myself, I am not the most open-minded person. Like, I definitely question everything. Like, I don't agree with the stereotypes. I don't follow a particular structure of anything. Life, education, whatever. I do my own research. I follow my own heart and I make my own mistakes if those mistakes occur and I take responsibility for that and I educate myself. I have educated myself on so many things like things that might not even apply to me like transgender people, non-binary people, polyamory, anything like that. That does not in any way have any correspondence with me and who I am and who I identify as. But I just want to, I don't know, validate people. And I want to acknowledge people's experiences. And I don't know, I, I really don't think that this is such a, wow, you're so cool for doing that. No, this literally should be something that everyone is doing to a certain degree, like to the degree that you're comfortable with, but still make the fucking effort and and educate yourself, be open-minded. There's so much more than to what exists right in front of your fucking eyeballs. Or else it's like, you know, these types of horses, I believe it's race horses, whatever. So they have these blind shields like to the sides so that the horse would only be able to see what's in front of it and so that the horse won't get distracted right basically that is what is happening with people with closed-minded people they are not willing to take these blindfolds off and wow the world is such a big place the world is such a diverse place and i don't know literally after this dialogue with my uncle i felt horrible and like I, I I felt so happy in the beginning because I was bursting with love but at the end of the dialogue I was bursting with anger I, and I felt so stupid for opening up to him and then I told my wife and she's like what did you expect it's your family and it's your Russian side of the family and it's like I don't know I I, I really try giving people second, third, fourth fucking chances. I, 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 I don't know, I, 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 believe, I believe in the best and I guess it's, it's not being an optimist, it's just being delusional and you kind of have to find the difference and the balance between delusion and optimism. It, yeah. and, I, and I felt really angry and very like vulnerable because I have shared with my uncle this very honest side of me and like the words that I have used, the topics that we have touched upon, like sex, love. I, I was really vulnerable and guess what? My uncle ended up reading everything that I have texted him to my entire family and now they quote the things that I have written to him 
and like whenever they have an argument they're like oh of course she was a lesbian ever since kindergarten i hope that you understand what I'm talking about. Like the point of this video was not to expose my uncle and to say, oh, look how stupid he is. No, it's literally to like, I I'm sure that someone out there is going through a very traumatizing coming out. And I just want to validate that experience because not every fucking coming out goes perfectly. Like I I I've watched so many uh, like nice, like, coming out like when the family accepts the person and then ends up hugging and crying together but it's not like that like literally they just said she doesn't exist to us anymore she's not our daughter she's not our granddaughter let's just forget about her and i'm actually really anticipating my birthday which is coming up like in two weeks and like i am thinking like how will they feel that day okay yeah so that's gonna be it for today thank you so much literally thank you so much for watching my dumb channel and if you're new here subscribe you're gonna see a lot more of dumb things on my on my channel but honestly no i, I love my channel so much how many times have i said my channel anyway Thank you so much and I really hope that I have sparked the desire to be open-minded, to educate yourself on other people's experiences while I'll also be trying to do so. <laughs> yeah, as much as I can and uh, of course I understand that, you know, whatever, what do I want to say? Anyway.